Yeah, so we came out two days ago uh, at John Brewer Reef here to check out the uh, corals. We're going to finish off the work um, with Stuart and Jennifer, uh, but so far the reef is looking really very, very good. Uh, over in this direction here, the, the plate coral is just absolutely staggering. Uh, there's the museum more or less under the boat, which is very interesting to look at. But we're here basically to see whether there's been exaggeration by the ABC and The Guardian, a couple of journalists and a few scientists about this reef and so far you'd have to say there's definitely been a lot of exaggeration about it. So we start off underneath the boat at the museum. You can see the planted coral under this structure here. It seems to be doing all right. This barrel sponge could be absolutely ancient. These Acropora branching staghorn type corals are badly bleached and in the foreground you can see the algal covering of some of the coral that's already died. The visibility today is not brilliant. Uh, there's been quite a bit of rough weather which stirred up the bottom a bit and it's a little bit overcast so a lot of the colours are washed out. Let's have a closer look at these corals just to make sure they really are living. You can tell if they're alive by looking very closely and see if the little tentacles from the coral animal are actually out. And you can see them in these pictures. Some of the corals have turned this remarkable blue, uh, almost iridescent color, sometimes called fluorescence. These have completely lost their zooxanthellae, but uh, the coral itself has a pigment there to protect it. In this deep purple tip, you can just see the tentacles of the polyp animal. This tip is partially bleached, so the brown bit has still got the zooxanthellae, but the white bit has lost it. You can just see the tiny little tentacles coming out as well. Visitors to the reef are often disappointed by the colour of the coral, which is often just brown, and they don't seem to realise that a lot of the spectacular photographs you see in glossy magazines and newsreel are under lights and under very special condition but this brown colour is pretty typical and the real colour actually is often from the fish which are just spectacular. Yeah, so John Brewer Reef uh, was surveyed in March so it's just a month ago and it was an average coral cover Last year the Great Barrier Reef was at record coral cover, or at least near record, depending on how you uh, add up the numbers. So the reef is looking good. Uh, there's no real indication that these bleaching events are getting any worse. And you know the fact that we've got such good coral here and right down the reef means that there's nothing much to, to worry about, at least so far, in terms of climate change. But there's always this predilection with a little bit of dead coral. I mean. Yes, there's a little bit of coral that might die, but if you go to a forest, you'll always find some sick trees or some dead trees. If you go to the Serengeti National Park, you're going to find some wildebeest that are at death's door. Death is a part of life, but of course there's this massive regeneration that occurs, and corals are masters of it. Uh, and that's what we see here. Yes, we might lose a little bit of coral from the bleaching, but it's going to be all right.